Thanks for joining us for WCS Forum 2019, where we celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the event. And I'm delighted to be talking to Gitanjali Shah. She is WCS coordinator at ITU. Gitanjali, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. Now, I've mentioned that it's been 10 years since the start of the forum, and you were there from the very start, weren't you? So what has it turned into? And uh, tell us about the whole journey to where we are at today. Uh, well, Charlotte, it's quite an amazing uh, achievement, but uh, of course, in collaboration with the multi-stakeholders we work with, uh, we started with uh, 600 participants in 2009, and this year we had more than 3,000 participants at the WSIS Forum. So this itself shows that you know we've uh, really been able to not only keep the interest of our stakeholders, but add new stakeholders, which is fascinating. We had new faces, you know, and new organizations, tech startups, new civil society organizations who are working on the ground, making a difference, new UN agencies is joining us so uh, it the whole journey has been really amazing but of course the event belongs to the stakeholders so we are just mere facilitators of the event to provide them with an equal and just platform and one of the reasons behind uh, behind its success is the fact that you constantly innovate don't you I mean this year you brought in new tracks on sports on youth and new services as well to make it more accessible and more inclusive tell us a bit more about that yes you're li right Charlotte uh, we are always looking to innovate to be as inclusive as possible uh, so we pioneered remote participation several years back and each and every workshop at the WSIS forum can be followed remotely and people can even make interventions uh, and they can be seen on the screen uh, we also had uh, a sign language, a uh, physical sign language here for the accessibility track uh, for the people with disabilities. And uh, we also uh, had several new services like we uh, tried to explore, uh, you know, remote captioning and, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, and we will also, uh, you know, we are at a time when uh, we have to look at providing services at a low cost, you know, so we have to explore how technology can enable that. Uh, I'm just coming from the uh, 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 demonstration by the Taekwondo Foundation and uh, uh, basically uh, the teams are exploring as to how sport can be presented as an enabler of uh, peace and development. And they also shared with us how they are using technology more and more to ensure that uh, technology is a component of peace, sport and development. So we added this new track on, uh, you know, ICT and sport. We had a youth track, like, in, in fact, it's just going on right now. There are a lot of youngsters uh, at the entrance of the Maubriand who are discussing uh, why the engagement of youth is so crucial in UN processes. And it is very important for policymakers as well to understand that it is, in a subject like technology, it is very important to include those voices. What's also interesting about WISIS Forum is how you bring all the different UN agencies together because collaboration is important, isn't it, for you? Definitely, Charlotte. Uh, WISIS is a UN process and uh, we work with more than 32 UN agencies to make this possible. WISIS Forum itself is co-organized by UNESCO, UNCTAD, UNDP and the ITU in collaboration with the UN regional commissions and several UN agencies who are facilitating the different UN action lines. So, uh, you know, it is a collaborative effort and uh, we agreed this year that ITU and UNDP would be co-leading the United Nations Group on Information Society with the support of uh, SCAP at the regional level who would be uh, chairing, uh, uh, who would be a vice chair of the UNGIS uh, to bring in the regional component. So yes, in fact, WSIS process is a UN multi-stakeholder process. We all work together. So today, the forum has become the world's largest platform for the ICT for Good community. How do you see it evolving in the years ahead? So we are getting the, together here at the WSIS Forum to ensure that we are uh, forging partnerships, building new collaborations, and making sure that we are working together to have an impact at the grassroots level. Okay. Gitanjali Shah, thank you very much. Thank you.